Might sound good to you, but Apache Junction Man has figured out how to beat the oil companies, driving his motorcycle without a single drop of gas. As ABC 15's Dave Biscoving found out, for fuel, he's using Arizona's best natural resource. There goes Richard Grish on his motorcycle, a 2003 Derby racing bike. Sounds like a small jet. But if you check out his bike, crank the engine and speed away, you notice something very different about this motorcycle. And everybody looks at me like, what is that? It's completely solar powered. No gas. Get on, hit the throttle and go. Grish has been working on this bike for more than two years, and he says people ask him about it everywhere he goes. But don't ask him to ride it, because he'll tell you. Nobody rides this bike but me. Grish says the bike's been a lifelong dream and believes it is the first solar-charged electric motorcycle in the world, even giving it a special name. It's the Solar Flyer, and I, I nicknamed it the Solar Flyer after the little red wagon, the radio flyer. It's a little red bike. It tops 90 miles an hour and travels up to 50 miles. Not too bad, without a single drop of gas. But Grish admits it could be better. I've got a 300-mile range plan. I'm not there yet. Grish still works on the bike, but you can still find him cruising around the East Valley. And one day, he hopes to park it for good inside a motorcycle museum. Now it's a prototype, a one-of-a-kind, but it could be a production model at some time in the future. In Apache Junction, Dave Biscoving, ABC 15 News.